Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to Forza Motorsport 4. Today is episode number 54. If you guys are enjoying the content, then be sure to leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, and feel free to hit that join button as it really does help support the channel. Hopefully you guys enjoy. This episode was streamed live on YouTube. If you want to make sure to catch the streams, then be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation, or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, we're here for the Class R3 North American Tour, and we are taking the SSC Ultimate Arrow because I've decided so. When are we going to hit 400? I, I'm very curious when 400 miles an hour is going to be uh, possible. I think it will probably be another 20 years. But I think it will be possible fairly soon. Uh, so yeah, we're starting off with the Raceway Laguna Seca. Then Indianapolis, Road Atlanta, Road America. And then Sebring. Let's get going. But I would like to figure out a way that I can give back to people that are watching. And be able to gift memberships to people that are watching the live streams. Oh, this is a nice looking car. Oh, I forgot about the little flaps. Oh, come on. This NASCAR's destroyed my thing. How, how are those flaps working? Hello. They're just sort of appearing. Oh, yeah. So that Koenigsegg, right? The, uh... Oh my gosh, it literally sticks out like a tongue. I thought they were like flaps. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> what in the hell is this car? No way. Look at that. Oh, it's like a lizard's tongue just going. Oh, that's amazing. No, so Koenigsegg pushing 600 horsepower out of that three-cylinder engine. Absolutely insane. But the Jamira, right, it had the capability of storing three suitcases in the back, one in the front. It had an 800 horsepower motor and a 600 horsepower engine. Right, so combined horsepower was 1,400 horsepower for a family car, right? This was unbelievable when they announced it, right? But it was a concept. Now that that car's going to production, that car still exists. But then they decided to turn around and say, oh yeah, we're making a V8 version as well. Yeah, you know that Yesco that we made? Yeah, we managed to stick that in the Jamera. So they've now got a car with a 1500 horsepower engine, an 800 horsepower motor, which adds up to 2300 horsepower, Oh, and get this, it can't fit any suitcases in the front anymore, but now it can fit four suitcases in the back, as opposed to three. So it's still a fucking family car, and it still seats four people. It's absolutely nuts. Like, the engineers at Koenigsegg are some of the absolute wildest guys in the world. They're nuts. The CCS50 or whatever it was, um, the CC50, basically the CCS remake from 20 years ago, the one that they just revealed, the fact that that has a 9-speed Yesco gearbox in it, but it's fully customized that the clutch is manually controlled, and you can have both sequential 9-speed gearbox, automatic, or you can go for a full H-pattern, six-speed gearbox. That has customizable gears. It, it's just so insane. And I think that's that kind of technology that's in that CC50 needs to come mainstream. It needs to become mainstream. Picking up my kids in my 1400 horsepower family car. Honestly, absolutely nuts. But I think that that CC50 gearbox, if they were to put that in normal road cars, like 
Oh yeah, you can have an eight-speed gearbox, right, in your road car. That's automatic. You can cruise around if you're on the motorway or whatnot. But say you're not on the motorway or you're not doing long driving and you want to experience your car. Well, there's that gearbox there. You now have full control with this manual gearbox and it behaves like a manual car. It's not just like, a, oh, you put it in first and it will automatically get you into the first. No, you have to use the clutch as well. That'd be one hell of a... Like, if that was an option on the car, I'd buy it every single day of the week. Yeah, could you kit my car out with the manual automatic gearbox? Be worth every penny. The fact that you can experience that car and go from one to the other just like that. Holy shit. But that's two insane cars that Koenigsegg has made in the past god knows how long. And also my controller's disconnected. Alright, we're off. I now need to try and gain those positions back. We've got two laps to do it. I think I can do it. I don't think I can do it if I'm that bad, though. <laughs> I always wondered where on earth these flaps were coming from, but... Yeah, the fact that that car is going to have 2,300 horsepower with no tuning is insane. Like, Christian von Koenigsegg, right, obviously... 20 years ago, if you were looking at Christian von Koenigsegg, you would have gone, oh, look at this madman. He's just... He's sort of... This beginner guy who's making his own supercar brand. You know, and... He's just going to end up like all the other ones. 20 years later, he's pretty much the best car designer in the world. And you look at people like Pagani who sort of pioneered like exotic supercars like to the level that they are today. I'd say Pagani is one of the innovators of that style of exotic hypercar. Like you look at Pagani and the works that he did with Azonda and then obviously the Huayra after that. Like those kind of cars I think Pagani almost invented that style. That Spiker was quite good. I don't think they were hypercars, though. I think they were just exotic supercars. They were like supercars trying to be like what Pagani was doing, but not quite. That's so insane. They just stick out. The fact that Active Aero is in this game, though, definitely proves that they put love and attention into it. I don't see why the SSC didn't make a return in other Forza games. Like, we know that Forza Motorsport... Uh, sorry, Forza Horizon are really well known for reusing assets. Why didn't they reuse the asset of the SSC then? Because this seems like one of those cars that they could quite easily reuse and get away with it. And people wouldn't be too pissed off. They're just recycling the wrong cars.
I haven't heard anything from SSC for years. Vroom, vroom, vroom! And we're off. Oh, this is going to be fun to see how fast this thing can go. The issue is this car has zero brakes. Yeah. I meant it in like a jokey way. Um, they, they don't really do much sort of in the mainstream other than... I mean, their prototype car still hasn't come out yet. And that's been in like the prototype stage for like 15 years now. Yeah. Tuatara, whatever it is. That one they announced like almost 10 plus years ago. I think... It was back in 2011, I want to say. So about 12 years ago, and there still has not been any updates on it. Like, the car looks outdated as hell. Because of the fact it's a concept car. If they released it five years ago, then yeah, maybe. But the car looks so outdated. Holy shit. I'm curious what these little lips are made of. Because they're not black. They just stick out. Technically speaking, the tops of them aren't supported by anything. So I'm curious what on earth they're actually made out of. Because they must be made out of like... Industrial grade titanium... Fucking... Carbon fiber ceramic composite that's like. I don't know. But they must be. To be able to withstand the pressures that these are gonna have put on them, the forces that are gonna get put on these air brakes, must be phenomenal. I'm so happy that I'm driving this car though. Such a cool car. I don't care if it's cost me a million to buy it. And that I now only have three million left. I've still got three million. Two fifteen miles an hour. Damn. We can remember. Composite air brakes, the same used on rockets. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Holy shit. That, okay, fair play. Fair play. Those things are designed to withstand, like, a thousand miles an hour. Of braking force. So, yeah. I think 200 miles an hour is not going to do too much. That's crazy, though. That's so weird. They just stick up. Ah, <laughs> oh, I've hit the wall.
Yeah, definitely. Like, it almost seems like the air brakes is what's producing the majority of the braking power, as opposed to the actual physical brakes. But I don't know whether it's something to do with the weight, because I know this car's quite a heavy supercar. Been talking. Wait, wait, wait. Two thousand and eight hundred pounds. What's that in kilos? I I do most of my car weights in kilos, so that way I know roughly how heavy something is. Oh, that's actually quite light. That that's surprising. That's quite a lightweight car, actually. <laughs> Fuck me. But Gary Vera on Super Sports was eighteen hundred. So five hundred kilos heavier than this. And the Bugatti Veyron, the the full Bugatti Veyron was almost a ton heavier than that, or heavier than this. It was about nine hundred kilos heavier. Or 800 kilos heavier. So that's 2.1 tons. Oh, yeah. Even the Chiron is... 1,600 kilos? Way. It's time for the pink SSC. Oi! Don't dent my car, you prick. Did I seriously just try and save getting scratches on a digital car? <laughs> That's insane. Ah, oh, fuck you. Nobody saw that. Nobody saw that. This video is a figment of your imagination. You are seeing things. I do not exist. I am a voice in your head. And that voice is telling you to subscribe to the Mechanic CG channel and join as a channel member as it really helps support the channel. Wink, wink. Oh, and don't forget to leave a like as well. <laughs> that that I believe is one of the best segues to a uh, sellout <laughs> in the world. <laughs> that was one of the best segues ever. Fuck me. I'm a sellout. That's what she said. Somehow got away with that. Didn't get away with that. Not at all.
Ford GT is a nice car. This is one of the few cars where I've actually had to slow down. I think this is the only car I have to slow down on that corner there. Because it's too quick. What's the interior like? Oh, it's okay, it's nothing special. Whoa, I just made it. I definitely want to get a picture of the car while it's, like, breaking. So I can get a picture of it in the thumbnail with the flaps up. I think it's so cool. Oh, get back on the track. Thank you. Oh, actually, can you send me a picture of that on Discord? I'd love to see what that looks like. Actually sounds really cool. Sick. I'll have a look at it after this race. I actually really do like the look of this car. I think it's quite a nice looking car. Because this came out in like 2008 or something like that. 2009, maybe. This thing is flowing around these corners so nicely. The fact that traction control is still activated in even fifth gear is insane. Completely been that corner. Late 2007, I think. Let's see how. This car's 15 years old. Fucking hell. This is the golden era of cars as well. 
Oh, that was like an NPC falling over the barrier then. That's what it looked like. It looked like one of the stewards had fallen onto the track. Oh, no! 142 grand. I will take it. All right, here we go. Vroom! And we're off. Whoa! Whoa! Fuck me! Nobody knows how to drive in this game. Oh, oh no. Uh, somebody call an ambulance. Call an ambulance, call an ambulance. But not for me. I mean, for that guy that's just absolutely rammed it into the fucking wall. Who gave these dri drivers racing permit? Uh, I would probably say they printed off their own ones. Oh, you might have to link me a photo of that one as well. There isn't enough track. I'm going to have to get a better run out of that first corner then. Or last corner. Because I'll only get one more attempt at that straight. Yeah, a lot of car manufacturers, they will have wild claims. Um, it does happen a lot in the car industry, and it, it sucks. Because us car fans, we like to nerd over details. So if those details are incorrect, it's a lot less enjoyable to nerd out over them. That's great, Cotto. That's brilliant. Well, welcome back to the chat, Cotto. Don't forget, if you guys do want to get those uh, exclusive cars from the Battle Royale, make sure you're typing in chat so that your avatar is there. So that when I type the Battle Royale command, you'll be there in the event and have a chance to win those exclusive cars. <laughs> your driving is not brilliant, though. I know. 
Uh, I might have to do the uh, command. Nino, Nino, Nino. You can't run a battle royale while a battle royale is running, God. <laughs> find these <laughs> oh gosh <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> ah, fucking hell. That was loud. And explosive. I feel like my nose has just been blown up. What car did you get? What car did you get? Sheet. Oh, oh shit. That's a lot of damage. Now that's a lot of damage. Or not. BT just got the lap of robbery. Oh, I've never done it. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> Uh, so this is the SSC Ultimate Arrow. No wonder I wasn't able to break. The guy missed his breaking point and crashed into me. That's not fair. This is fucking Demolition Derby. No, so um, the Battle Royale event for the stream avatars is the Hybrid Trio. So that'll be... Uh, the LaFerrari, the 918, and the McLaren P1. Holy shit, this thing's quick.
We've got decent looks of cows here. Another one. We've got four people here, so it's going to be a little more exciting. And obviously, the battle royale is cheaper now to run, so everyone should be able to run it whenever they want to. So, a PT Cruiser. No, we will not be adding the PT Cruiser to stream avatars. Or will we? Who knows? Ah, oh, overdone it a little bit there. Fiat Multiple is quite a nice looking car. I really like the Fiat Punto. I'm quite a fan of that car, so I'm hoping um, that I can add it at some point. But I've also got quite a few months of unlocks lined up, so. Nothing but cars has got the LaFerrari! Way! Fiat Coupe is a strange looking car, but I like it. Isn't the Coupe the one that they use for the uh, cheap police cars on top here? Or is that a different car that I'm thinking of? Is that the multiplier? I'm trying to remember. Uh, coupe, okay, yeah, I thought so. That was quite a cool, cool episode. I actually really enjoy like the dumb Top Gear challenges. And I think uh, Top Gear Police Cars is easily in like the top five for me. For that one. It's such a funny episode. It was so good. <laughs> the spiked wheels were just like, what the actual fuck? Like, it's such a Clarkson thing though. Like, oh yeah, let's just stick some massive fucking spikes on this car. Totally not going to cause any issues with it. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.